Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2021 IFBB Pro League Europa Pro Championship, all the women's results. A huge show, so exciting. So in terms of Olympia, for bikini, this is an all other contest. So second through fifth receive the points I've highlighted. The winner qualifies for Olympia. And at the end of the qualification period, it's the top five that qualify for Olympia. In all the other categories, fitness figure, women's physique, women's bodybuilding, and wellness, this is a tier two contest. Super big, extremely high points awarded. You can see them there. Same deal, second through fifth receive points. First place goes to Olympia. And at the end of the qualification period, it's the top three in the points who go to Olympia. Except in wellness, they're also allowing both the first and second place to go to Olympia. Actually, let me take that back. Both first and second place in all of the women's categories are going to Olympia at this particular show. Very cool. Okay, so in terms of bikini, looking at the top five, in first place was Allison, second was Nora, third Adriana, fourth Alice, and fifth Judita. So here's Judita in fifth, and oh my gosh, all I can say is holy muscle. She is so muscular. She looks incredible. Gigantic shoulders, great lats, a tiny waist, beautiful glutes, a nice definition too. You got the line running down the leg. You got some beautiful abs. She's just incredible. Her suit is gorgeous. Her makeup is nice and bright. Her hair is just stunning. I think she looks fabulous, but I cannot get over how muscular she is. She looks amazing. Okay, next in fourth place is Alice, who uh, definitely does not have the same amount of muscle as Judita, but she just looks so beautiful. What a beautiful aesthetic. Uh, such a gorgeous shape. Really lovely delts. Again, with the crazy hourglass because of those nice delts to the lat, to the very tiny waist. And her legs have such beautiful definition. That line outlining her quad is so deep. Her oblique is so deep and her abs are so flat and small and smooth. I think she just looks amazing. I love the color of the suit. I love her lipstick, her long dark hair. She just looks incredible. Okay, next in third place is Adriana, who we last saw at the Arizona Pro. So she's staying in the top fifth, looking amazing as ever. I think her shoulders look fabulous, really small waist. Her legs look crazy good, but there's something funny. I Do you see this little bump here? I think that might just be because of the lighting, because when we see her in the lineup photo, her hamstring doesn't have that bump to it. So it's just the photo. Um, she always looks so polished, beautiful suit, beautiful hair, really nice definition in her abs and a gorgeous hourglass. So as always doing fantastic. Um, yeah, she just looks amazing. Great lipstick. Love it. Okay, next in second place is Nora. And I feel like Nora really stands out on the stage. She has such an amazing hourglass. Her upper body is so broad, and then her waist is so small, and then her glutes are so beautifully developed. And I think when you compare Nora now to, for example, the Romania show, she's made some substantial gains. Her hamstrings look incredible now. There's even more of a curve here underneath the glute than there was over here. I think her lats look amazing. Her shoulders are insane, uh, even better than they were at Romania. So she's definitely doing fantastic. Second place was fabulous. And then of course, beautiful suit, beautiful hair, beautiful makeup. But yeah, that hourglass and those broad shoulders, just gorgeous. Okay, in first place is Allison, who looks stunning. I love her makeup. I love that little bit of curl she put to the bottom of her hair. Her suit is so flattering. It's a gorgeous color. And then looking at her physique, she looks amazing. I think she's posing beautifully here. You're really seeing that fabulous outline of her glute and then her hamstring looks beautiful. But what really catches my attention on Allison actually is the amount of glute she has up high. Like her hourglass goes forever because her glutes are so developed on the top. 
I love it. I think she looks absolutely incredible. And then she's got a really nice balance to her upper body as well. Beautiful shoulders, nice shape to her arms, a gorgeous tiny waist. Just fantastic. All right, so here's everybody side by side. I think you'll agree with me that Nora really stands out for her amazing hourglass shape. And then Judita with those crazy big shoulders. Um, Alice has beautiful conditioning. Adriana, I think, looks lovely too. You can see the hamstring <laughs> is just gorgeous from this angle. So it was totally just a picture. Um, but then Allison has amazing glutes. Even, you know, from the side, they look incredible. The hamstrings look fabulous gorgeous now from behind Allison has amazing glute ham tie-ins really nice well-defined her glutes themselves are just a gorgeous shape really round and full I think Nora also is very beautiful uh, she's got a different look than Allison's but equally beautiful in her own right um, beautiful hamstrings Lovely. I think this is a really lovely, amazing top five. I do feel like Adriana could perhaps make her feet a little wider to really show off her sweep to the quad and then make her hourglass even more pronounced from behind. That's it. I think everybody looked fantastic. Okay, so the top two qualify for Olympia. So Allison is qualified. Nora is qualified. Al Alice has three points. Adriana now has six and Judita has two. Okay, wellness. In first place was Julia. Second was Susanna. Third, Charlene. Fourth, Lisa. Fifth, Karina. Here we go. So here's Karina in fifth place. She looks amazing. First of all, I love the lipstick with the color of her suit. Beautiful, so bright. Uh, her hair looks lovely as well. It's off her shoulders, so we get to see everything up top. Just gorgeous. Her body looks phenomenal. The amount of muscle on her legs is just beautiful and really, really nice definition as well. I'm loving all the detail that you're seeing in this front leg here. Her abs as well are looking amazing. And I love how substantial her arms are. She's got a lot of muscle to balance out her beautiful shoulders. So I think she looks amazing. I... I can't say I love this pose for showing off the glute. However, there are a lot of poses to show off the glutes. So I don't mind it. I think it really flatters that front leg. And I think she looks beautiful. Okay, next and fourth is Lisa in a gorgeous royal blue suit. Beautiful shape to her glutes and hamstrings. Just um, amazing. I really love the curve underneath the glute, the curve of a hamstring. She's got a nice substantial muscle in her legs, really small waist, and then very large lats and lovely arms. So she's really created an hourglass shape that is just gorgeous. Uh, I don't love the curve of this arm. I feel like that's a little bit reminiscent of figure when they do the lat spread. I think she could straighten it or um, just relax it a little bit more. Uh, you'll notice it more in the lineup. Otherwise, I think she looks incredible. And I think fourth place was amazing. And uh, yeah, I think she looks awesome. Okay, next in third is Charlene. So beautiful. She's got a fabulous shape to her glute and amazing legs. I love all of the detail right near the knee here. I think it just looks so good and she's got a beautiful curve on the top of the back leg. Really fantastic delts. Oh my gosh. Um, and then again coupled with beautiful size to her arms and a great lat spread but her abs are just phenomenal. I love her obliques. I love how flat and how defined her abs are. I think she looks incredible and I think her posing is very complimentary and flattery to her figure. She looks beautiful. Um, I do think she could smile <laughs> a little more, but um, you know, it's just a photo. Who knows what happened in the next split second. So I think she looks amazing. Hair could be a little bit more off the shoulders to really l allow us to see her lats and her delts, but otherwise I think third place was fabulous. All right, next and second is Susanna in the most beautiful suit. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. And then her earrings are amazing. Makeup is beautiful. She just looks stunning. Her hair, everything. Um, gorgeous amount of muscle on Susanna as well. I, I, I've said before I don't love this particular front pose, but I do, 
I did read your comments and you guys like this front post because it makes it different than bikini. And I like that. So the reason I don't love the, this pose is because you don't really see the glute. And I feel like wellness is so all about the glute. However, even with the, the shape of the glute kind of not being right in your face, you can just see the crazy amount of muscle in her legs. Like look at the sweep she has in this quad incredible and then she's got a gorgeous definition coming up the side of her leg beautiful small waist really nice definition in her abs gorgeous lat her arms are very lovely they're not maybe as jacked <laughs> as we've seen but she's got nice rounded shoulders and a, a nice curve to her bicep and tricep so i think she looks beautiful second place heading to olympia amazing and now in first place is Julia, who we have seen before, and she's looking just as good as ever. I just adore her abs. I think they look amazing. And I'm liking this little bit of a twist to her front post. It's allowing you to see a little bit more of the legs. Um, still, you don't see the glute in this one quite so well, but that's okay because we have plenty of opportunities. Um, but mostly I'm seeing her tiny waist, beautiful delts, and then just a gorgeous amount of size in her legs. Now, we couple that with her lovely hair. You can see her makeup is coordinating, beautiful lipstick, and I think she did amazing. All right, so here's everybody side by side. Uh, first thing I notice is how tall Julia is compared to the other competitors. Just crazy. Um, maybe you'll agree with me that Lisa could relax that arm a little bit. Uh, Karina looks so muscular from top to bottom. Just beautiful. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, wellness is still, I think I say this every video, but wellness is still kind of figuring itself out of how to stand and how to compare each other side by side. And I think that's what kind of is making it so exciting. Uh, but I definitely prefer myself kind of the way that Karina and Charlene are standing because then you can really see the shape of all of the muscles. Uh, Julia's legs look so long, it's quite incredible. <laughs> all right, now from behind, wow, Julia has some crazy size. You, you don't even see it in the front as much as you see it from behind. Her glutes are so well developed, they're so large, gorgeous glute hem tie-ins, and her quad sweep is crazy. Just gorgeous. Um, of course, everybody has some amazing uh, glutes. I think Lisa has particularly great glute hem tie-ins, but Julia, just the size, the hourglass shape you can see from behind, the sweep to her quads, she just looked amazing. Okay, so from a points perspective, Julia is qualified, Susanna is qualified, Charlene has 11 points, Lisa has 9, and Karina is on the list with 5. All right, talking about women's fitness, there were only 5 competitors, so all 5 are in the top 5. First place was Alex, second Nina, third Kate, fourth Debbie, and fifth Corrine. So here's Corrine, who we recently saw at the Mr. Big Portugal, where she got third place. So she's staying in that top five, doing amazing. Now, I think she looks fabulous. I love this suit. It is so bright, very eye-catching. I think her makeup looks amazing. I like her hair like this. Um, and I feel like she's posing even better. Her lats are really looking beautiful to me. Her shoulders look lovely. Really small, tiny waist. Nice definition in the legs. I think she's really pulling it together and looking really good. Um, in in this lineup, she just needs more size, which just takes time and uh, an off season for sure. So I think she's definitely doing fabulous. She looks beautiful. I love the earrings. I love the makeup. Well done. And here is a look at her routine. All right, next and fourth is Debbie, who is, again, consistently in the top five, doing amazing. We've got a new suit, which is very beautiful. She's done her hair a little bit differently. I have to say, in my humble opinion, I loved her hair at the Puerto Rico Pro. I think that curl and the color was just so beautiful. But it looks really nice here, too, as well. And I think Debbie's lats look amazing. There is something happening you know, you can almost see like this curve right in here, this little bit of definition. She's always had it, of course, but something about it really caught my eye at this show and I think it looks just gorgeous. Really nice small waist, beautiful legs. She poses so 
flawlessly really shows off her legs beautiful delts as well um, again I do feel like Debbie just needs more size to be competitive with the this particular lineup the the, the our first place winner second place very very large muscular women so that's it I think what she has is beautiful she's looking amazing as ever a well-deserved fourth place and here's a look at her suit for her routine awesome loved it okay next and third is Kate and I have to say I love this pose she looks spunky she looks confident it's a little bit different her own unique twist I love it and I love this suit um, it's so eye-catching just gorgeous like a superhero like she just looks so good I love her hair I love the lipstick her body looks amazing and I think like the way that she's posing I don't know what she's doing differently than at the Portugal but her shoulders look incredible um, her abs beautiful as always really nice small waist and then her leg looks really good too I love the little bit of uh, the line that's coming down I love the shape of her glutes but overall, she just looks so good. She looks muscular. She looks confident. I think a third place was really good. She could use, for sure, more size as well. And maybe even a little bit more conditioning so we could really show off some of those muscles, you know, especially in the legs. But I think third place was fabulous. And here's a look at her routine. Beautiful. All right, next and second was Mina, who we last saw get first place at the Mr. Big Portugal. And then we saw her at the Romania, but she actually was in wellness in that category. So she is really doing fantastic all around, um, looking beautiful as ever. Her delts are incredible. So much mass. She's so muscular, crazy big lats, a nice trim waist and beautiful legs. I do feel like her conditioning was not quite as good as we saw at the Portugal. You're not seeing quite as much detail. And in the lineup, you can kind of see it a little bit better. As an individual looking at her, I think she looks absolutely phenomenal. But uh, I think, yeah, the conditioning is something that she could have had just a little bit more to show off the detail in the muscles. But her abs look fabulous. Her hair, makeup, suit, the whole thing. She looks so good. And there's a picture of her routine. And now in first place is Alex. And whoa, crazy shoulders, so well developed, beautifully rounded, uh, really nice lats too, but tiny waist. Her V taper is incredible. And she's got fabulous definition. Her conditioning is bang on. You're seeing all kinds of detail in her legs. You've got curves, you've got grooves, you've got separation. She looks phenomenal. When I look at the lineup, oh, sorry, here is a picture of her routine. So powerful, amazing. And I love the ponytail too. Okay, now when I look at the lineup of everybody side by side, for sure Mina has a little bit more muscle on, especially on her upper body than Alex. But I think Alex kind of nails it with the V taper. Her waist is so small. And she's got fabulous conditioning, especially showing the muscles in her legs. So I think because of that overall shape and the conditioning, you can see why she um, came in first place. But Mina is a close second, very muscular, beautiful posing. Uh, I think Kate looked fabulous as well. But Kate, Debbie, and Corrine, to, to compare with Alex and Mina, would definitely need just a little bit more size. All right, and now from behind, Alex, wow, beautiful hamstrings, uh, and that V-taper is just, just something. Mina looks really good from behind as well, of course, but Alex had that conditioning really on the money. All right, so in terms of Olympia, Alex is qualified, Mina was already qualified, Kate's all the way up to 13, Debbie has 15, and Corrine has 10. All right, talking about women's figure. In first place, Anna, second, Bahar, third, Gabriella, fourth, Lena, and fifth, Jennifer. So here's Jennifer in fifth place with crazy good conditioning and a crazy good V taper. She looks amazing. Beautiful shoulders. Her suit's so flattering and eye catching. Her hair is lovely. Um, I think her conditioning is even better than it was at the Portugal show. Her legs have so much detail, her abs look fantastic. She's got the 
tiny, tiny waist, beautiful posing. In this particular picture, it looks to me like this hand is a little higher, which means the shoulder is a little bit higher. But again, it's just a snapshot. So she probably adjusted in the very next second. So I think she looked amazing and uh, beautiful shape. All right, next and fourth is Lena, who we saw get second at the Portugal show. And her V-taper is really outstanding. Her waist is so small and her lats are so large that she's just incredible. It is so eye-catching, her shape. The V-taper is wild. Uh, beautiful conditioning as well. Her quads look insane. Um, again, I think even better conditioning, but also she's it's like she's put on size since the Portugal. Her legs look even larger. Her sweep looks just so beautifully round and full. She looks fantastic. Beautiful suit, beautiful smile, great hair. I love it. I think she did amazing. All right, next and third is Gabriella. And the first thing I noticed were those amazing lats. Oh my gosh. Then the second thing I noticed was the crazy, symmetrical, perfect abs. Wow. She also has beautiful legs, really nice definition. I just feel like her legs could have even more size to balance with those lats. She could have even more sweep, but her conditioning is fabulous. Her shoulders are amazing. I love her earrings. I love her suit. I love the makeup. I think she looks really incredible. The, the lat spread is just phenomenal. Third place was fabulous. All right, now in second place, Bahar. Amazing as always, um, beautiful legs, really nice V taper. Her lats are crazy good, uh, really nice shoulders as well. I feel like she's got conditioning in her legs that are so good, and yet I wish I could see more abs. So I don't know how on earth someone could do that. At the Romania show, it was a little bit better. You could see a lot more of the six pack. So. I feel like her legs look amazing, her arms look fabulous, but just a little bit, just a tiny bit more conditioning to show off the abs. I feel like her shape is phenomenal, beautiful V-taper, really nice size to the legs, very well balanced top to bottom, beautiful suit, beautiful hair. She could use a brighter lip for sure, but you know, that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, I think second place was fabulous. All right, and now in first place is Anna. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. I love the suit. It's so bright. I love her hair parted in the middle. I love her shoulders are just amazing. And her V taper is fabulous. She's got gorgeous lats, really nice, small, tight stomach, and her quads are amazing. I don't think this picture is doing justice for her conditioning. You can see it a little bit better when we do the, um, the lineup. But I think overall, when you look at the silhouette and the shape, the balance between top to bottom is so good. The waist is so small. The shoulders are so popped. She just looks fabulous. All right. So here's everybody now side by side. And I'm drawn to Gabriella's lats for sure. But I'm also drawn to Anna's legs, her conditioning, her size, coupled with the, the upper body. She's just so balanced. Um, I noticed Lena's tiny waist beautiful top five such high caliber but now from behind Anna really really looks good from behind her lats are so beautifully developed really really incredible V taper and beautiful definition in her hamstrings and her glutes are popped um, when you compare her with the girls side by side Anna has something special for sure so much muscle up top and great conditioning Gorgeous. Gabriella, I think, has really nice uh, upper body as well, but Anna has those glutes that are very, very well formed. So, a beautiful top five. All right, so Anna is qualified. Bahar is qualified. Gabriella has seven. Lena has 12. And Jennifer has 10. All right, women's physique. In first place, Anne Lorraine. Second, Pen Pagrai. Third, Laura. Fourth, Elena. And fifth, Raluca. So here's Raluca in fifth place, and she has so much mass. Giant legs, really big lats, beautiful arms. I love the suit. It is so glittery and sparkly and eye-catching. It's just gorgeous. I love the bright lip. I think she looks fabulous. Most of all, the, the quad sweep is just so good. 
I think she looks amazing. I think she could have a little bit more definition, a little more conditioning to show off the detail, especially in the legs and the abs. And, uh, you know, I, she could even have more lat to really create a very large V taper and highlight that X shape. But I mean, her legs are so good. The overall package is so good. And I think fifth place was fantastic. Okay, here's Elena in fourth. I love the ponytail. I love the suit. I love her conditioning. Her legs are so detailed. Just beautiful. Uh, really nice flat stomach. Great shoulders. I think she could use more lat to balance out the lower body and really create, again, that X shape. Um, but I can't get over how beautiful her conditioning is. Legs look fabulous. Love the, the ponytail. She looks really good. I thought it was a very nice fourth place. All right, next and third is Laura. Now, here we go. Crazy lats, beautiful abs, very large, well-developed, and well-defined legs. She's got the X shape. She's got the crazy V taper. The conditioning is there. The suit is beautiful. The posing is fabulous. This is what I'm talking about. I think she looks incredible. I'm surprised that this is a third. Just goes to show how amazing this top five is. I think Laura looks incredible. The suit is beautiful. Uh, I love both of her suits, honestly. This one is uh, gorgeous for sure. Um, but yeah, her abs really stand out to me. Her conditioning looks lovely. A fabulous third place. All right, now in second is Pen Pagrai. Amazing shoulders, really nice lats, tiny waist, and then a fabulous sweep to her quads. Really beautiful balance between top to bottom. I love it. Um, gorgeous suit, gorgeous hair. I'm so happy to see her. I've always been excited to watch her compete. And last year didn't happen quite as much as we wanted to, but we get to see her now in second place, headed to Olympia. I'm so excited. I do think she could have had a little bit more definition in the top part of the leg, you know, just to see a little bit more detail. But you can see she's got the crazy good size. She's got so much muscle in her legs. She's just phenomenal. I love it. And now in first place, Anne Lorraine. Looking amazing. She's got insane definition. Her legs are incredible absolutely gorgeous you're seeing so much in those legs look at the grooves look at the separation between the muscle so deep so detailed so defined I love it her abs as well are super cut you can see the full six-pack really nice trim waist gorgeous lats and absolutely beautiful definition in her arms amazing shoulders she poses so beautifully. It, it, she really stands out on the stage to me in the lineup because of her posing. She's just flawless. Beautiful makeup, beautiful hair. A very well-deserved first place. All right, so here's everybody side by side. See what I mean about Anne Lorraine and her posing? She is a force. Just the shoulders look so good. The V taper looks so good. Her legs look incredible. You know, in this picture, everybody's definition looks pretty darn amazing. But Anne Lorraine, with the size on top and the definition on the bottom, the crazy abs, the V-taper, the beautiful posing, she just nailed it. And from behind, Pen Bergrai's glutes stand out to me. Holy smokes. Um, but then so do Lor Anne Lorraine's. So when Anne Lorraine has such a good front and such a good back, she's got gorgeous hamstrings, an incredible 3D quality, such a roundness to all the muscles in her back. I think she just looks amazing. Okay, so from an Olympia standpoint, Anne Lorraine is qualified, Pen Pagrai is qualified, Laura is up to 11, Elena has 6, and Raluca has 5. And now, women's bodybuilding. So in first place is Margita, second, Sylvia, third, Corinne, fourth, Alcyon and fifth Felicia and of course I have to mention I'm sure you've heard Elena Hadvani was supposed to compete and tragically she passed away before the show in Spain um, it's heartbreaking and I just want to say I'm sure this whole internet community along with me is sending the most beautiful big virtual hug and love to her family it's so sad 
Um, you can see her here at the Portugal. We just saw her competing. We were so excited to see her again. So definitely a loss to women's bodybuilding, but just a loss in general. Very sad. And Jake Wood, the owner of the Olympia, has said that they are going to make some changes to all the divisions in terms of conditioning, which is very interesting. I've already seen a lot of athletes commenting on this on Instagram, um, you know, with their own opinions as to conditioning and how you get to be conditioned and uh, a lot of defensiveness, also a little bit of defense of people's coaches and defense of their tactics. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on and we'll see exactly what happens, whether changes are implemented right away at Olympia or if this is something that's going to be kind of a gradual change. Remains to be seen, but overall, very tragic incident and uh, very, uh, I think, very cool that Mr. Wood is, is trying to make a change. All right, so let's talk about these female bodybuilders. In fifth place was Felicia. Looks amazing. So much size. Great definition, especially in her legs. Really nice stomach. Great definition in her abs. Beautiful lats and great shoulders. She's got a lot of mass. The only thing I feel like Felicia could have a bit more sweep to the quads and even more roundness to the lats so that it just makes the X shape even more pronounced. She could even try sticking her leg out more to the side to really create that shape that you see a lot of the top girls uh, in their front pose. But I think from a mass perspective, she's looking pretty good. Just a little more, <laughs> I think. Beautiful definition, great suit. I think she did fabulous. All right, next is Alcyon in fourth. Now there's the X shape. You see how wide the lats are to the tiny waist to the extremely wide rounded quads. It's a very exaggerated X shape. She looks amazing, just beautiful. I think she could have a little more definition though. Even though her abs look amazing and you're seeing a lot of detail, I feel like her legs could have even more. Her upper body looks amazing, great suit, great hair, great makeup, but yeah, just a little bit more conditioning. All right, next in third place is Corinne. We last saw her, oh, sorry, I should have mentioned that also with um, Alcyon. The last time we saw her was in women's physique, so this is a jump to women's bodybuilding, which is very exciting. And of course, so is Corinne. The last time we saw her was at the British Grand Prix in women's physique. And here she is now in women's bodybuilding. So that's super exciting. Now, in terms of Corinne's package, she looks beautiful. Great sweep to her quads. Really nice flat stomach. Amazing lats. Beautiful arms. I'm not crazy about the way she's posing. I think she should straighten the leg to really show off the X shape. Um, and from a conditioning standpoint, it's not bad, but I feel like still you could see more detail in the legs, more detail in the abs, get them really cut. I feel like her conditioning at the British Grand Prix was a little bit better. You could just see the different muscles. Now, of course, the lighting is different, et cetera, et cetera. But, but I do feel like I want to see more. <laughs> She's got such a beautiful shape. I want to see more. Great suit, beautiful makeup, nice hair. I think this is a fabulous third place. All right, next is Sylvia in second, who has so much mass. She's just amazing. Her giant legs, giant lats, amazing, incredible giant arms. Just insane. She looks so good. Uh, I do feel like Sylvia could have an even tinier waist, if that's humanly possible. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. Um, her abs look really nice. I wouldn't mind more definition all around, more conditioning, more detail in the legs, more in the abs for sure. But I can't get over how big she looks. So much size, beautiful suit, beautiful hair. I love her smile. I love her makeup. I think second place was really fantastic. And now in first place, Margita. She's got everything you need. She's got the conditioning. Look at that detail in her legs, in her abs. Her waist is tiny. Her lats are massive. She's got such an X shape. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful shape. I love her silhouette. I love her detail. Great arms. Great posing. A fabulous, fabulous first place. So here's everybody side by side. You can see what I mean. I think Corinne could straighten the leg a little. Um, 
Margita, though, with that tight waist, the beautiful V taper, and the conditioning, she just kind of knocks it out of the park. I love it. From behind, Corinne is really impressive from behind as well. Um, but I mean, Margita, she's got such full, large glutes. Her legs look amazing. Her, the muscles in her back look really fantastic. Her shoulders look fabulous as well. Alcyon, I noticed her tiny waist. Corinne has a tiny waist. Felicia has some fabulous glutes as well as Sylvia. Sylvia, I'm noticing her hamstrings and her quads. It's amazing. Women's bodybuilding is so cool. All right, so from a Olympia standpoint, Margita's qualified, Sylvia's qualified, Corinne has seven, Alcyon has six, and Felicia has five. So we've got two more shows coming up this month. This weekend, we have the Nashville Fit Show, which has pro bikini, and then the Battle of Champions in Warsaw, Poland, which is another pro bikini. That will be next weekend. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. I will be back with those as fast soon as I can. Please give me a like if you like this video. Comment with your thoughts below on conditioning, on any of these top fives on our beautiful European athletes. And come check me out at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.